All right, you're watching, hello class, you're watching video number one for simple machines. We're going to be learning about simple machines, right? Those are machines that are used to make a really hard task a lot easier. These have been around forever, okay? The first three we're going to talk about today are the ramp, the lever, and the screw. All right, so here's what I want you to do. I want you to pause the video and go get a piece of paper and something to draw or something to write with because you're going to be copying the pictures that I draw here just like we usually do in science class. We draw pictures together and talk about them. Okay? So I'm going to pause the video and get paper and something to write with. Ready? Go. Okay, you're back. Excellent. All right, so let's talk about the ramp, the lever, and the screw, the first three simple machines. Okay. Now, let's say that I had something super heavy, right? and I had to get this bag of money, right? right? There's the bag of money I get each week for, uh, for teaching, and I have to get it from here to my house. at the top of the hill. Okay? So go ahead and draw that. Draw my sack of money. Right? I'm going to put my sack of money on, a, on some kind of cart or something because it's so much easier to carry if it's on a cart. Right? And there's the house at the top of the hill. How am I going to get it up that hill? How am I going to get up there? Right? I'm strong, but I'm not strong enough to carry that money up the hill. Right? It's so much easier if I use a ramp, okay? Now, so what I would do is you take a ramp, which is just an inclined plane, see? And I can put my bag of money on the ramp. and push it up the hill. It makes it so much easier to push something up a hill if you use a ramp. Right? You've seen this at um, stores. You might see a ramp or in someone's house if they're in a wheelchair or on the street corner you might see a ramp. Because can you imagine getting a wheelchair up a flight of steps compared to using a ramp? The ramp is smooth and usually it's very, very gradual the way it gets higher and higher and higher. So that way um, it makes it easier to go up the hill. So our first simple machine is this. A ramp. That's it. Just a ramp. It's very simple. Right? So let's talk about a lever. All right. Now, in our simple machines, a lever is... Mm. I want you to draw a really fat animal. Okay? Draw a really fat animal. Alright? Uh, let's see. I'm going to draw a pig. Alright? So here's my pig. It's pig nose. Okay? There's my really fat pig. And I wanted to lift him up. I wanted to pick him up somehow, right? I could use a lever. Right? Now, when you think about lever, think about like a seesaw or teeter-totter, right? All I need is to have something heavy on this side to push him up, okay? So, what I would do to pick up my pig, right? what I would do to pick up my pig is I would put him on a board, I need a pivot point. Right? To pick him up. Now, at first, when he's on this teeter totter lever, it's going to look like this. Right? Because he's on one side, and there's nothing on the other side. So I need to pick him up. So I need to push down 
I need to use force, not the force. You don't use the force. Use force, push down this side, and he'll go up, right? So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put something heavy on this side to push our pig up. Okay. There's our piggy. I'm going to put his leg back on. Okay. And there he is. He's up now. There's our pivot point, the center part of our teeter-totter. And I'm going to put something heavy on this side. Right? I will put a weight of 500 pounds on this side. So if I put 500 pounds on this side, boop, my pig goes up. Right? A lever is a great way to lift things that are heavy. You just need force on this side to push it down to make this side go up. Okay? Ramp is an inclined plane. It helps you get things up and moving forward, right? Or down quickly, if you want to move something down quickly, right? A lever is that pivot point where you can push something down and make something go up. And the last thing we're going to talk about today is called the screw. Now, the screw is just a ramp on a stick. That's all it really is. You don't think of a screw being a ramp on a stick, but watch. Here's a, here, let's draw a picture of a screw, right? All right, so here's the top of our screw, right? And then the bottom of our screw, kind of like that, right? Here's our screw, mine's a Phillips head. There you go. All right, well that screw, that doesn't look like a screw, Mr. Bond. Right, because we haven't added the ramp yet. The ramp spins and goes around, right? And around, and around, and around. Now it's starting to look like a screw. See? A screw is just a ramp attached to a pole or attached to a stick. Right? And you use screws to what? What do you use screws for, right? You use them to fasten things. Right? They hold things in place, right? So if I want to hold something in place, if I want to fasten one thing to another, I use that screw to hold it in place. It holds it in place. It's, it screws itself in there and holds things in place. It fastens things together. And a screw is just a ramp on a stick. That's all it is. It's just a ramp on a stick or a ramp on something sharp. In your packet, in your take-home packet, there's a video at the bottom that's attached. Um, if you click on that and you go to that website, you will see great examples of the screw, of the lever, and of the ramp. A lot of things you don't think about being screws or le levers or ramps are on that little example. So go around your house, try to find those things. Right? Now, before I let you go on the first part of our science video, you are in charge of making a science poster board. Take the poster board, right? I'm a poster board. Fold me in thirds. One, two, right? Fold me in thirds. Then when you open me up, I'll have a crease, right? It'll look like this, right? It'll look like this. Your poster board, after you have folded up, will look like this, okay? On the left-hand side, I want you to find in the magazines, on the internet, print them out, draw them. I want you to fill up this side, part one, with ramps. Right? Fill them with levers. Fill them with screws. Okay? This side. And I want you to label a few of them. Right? Don't just fill it up, label it as a ramp, as a lever, as a screw. I really don't want any extra poster board space. I want it to be filled with ramps, levers, and screws throughout this whole section. Okay? All right. Get to work. If you have any questions, let me know.